From all American marching band members to IndyCar engineers, Purdue has played a huge role in the Indy 500. Purdue has three interns on the Junkos Hollinger racing team. I caught up with Peter Agostino, Max All, and Zach Nelson about working the greatest spectacle in racing. Peter and Max are both from Indianapolis and grew up around the track. Peter became involved with motorsports through Grand Prix at Purdue, and Max joined the Motorsports Club at Purdue. Zach is from Tennessee and has been involved since 2015. I started out by working on a TA2 team back home in, in Tennessee. And then from there, I progressed, progressed, and progressed through different series, working my way up. And then uh, I eventually started working for Home Coast uh, through a program at Purdue that I run. Motorsports at Purdue, and we made a connection and a partnership there, and me and a whole bunch of other folks came down and started uh, working for them. This is the Boilermakers' second year working for Hunkos Hollinger. They said that the internship has really allowed them to understand the industry. From my side of things, it was mostly like go-karts that I knew, and moving up to a formula car and traveling and it's like packing everything up in the trailer and all the, the whole thing is much more like just a bigger uh, experience than I thought just to see the logistics and to learn the language um, of the industry was um, very important and eye-opening. Peter, Zach, and Max have been taking in every second of IndyCar. This morning, Max and I, we had our breakfast in pit lane because we were setting up stuff in pit lane. So I was just like, this is probably like one of the coolest places I've had breakfast, you know? But looking back on it as a kid, you just don't uh, think about the work and the amount of hours that go into prepping the car and running it during practice and then tearing it down after practice. It just, it's a whole new world behind the scenes. It's surreal to be able to experience this and, and to say to yourself that, yeah, you're in the pit lane for the Indy 500. And, um, and hearing people say like, oh, I do anything to be on a team like this. It really uh, makes you take a step back and just be thankful for what um, the opportunity that I have. The, the best moment for me is, is before the race even starts at 9 a.m. when you walk on pit lane and, you, you know, you're just sitting there and it's just dead silent. And you just know in about three hours, there's not going to be a direction you can't look and not see a million people. Peter and Max helped with tires during the race and Zach worked as a damper engineer for the 78 car. Aside from the excitement for working at one of the largest single day sporting events in the world, the Purdue students had one common goal. Love to have a top five finish here at Indy. You top know? five. We well, we want to win. Yeah, but we win, you know, last year, last year, Callum, like we crashed out, uh, like lap seventy around. So, you know, finish the five hundred, finish well. You know, hopefully a really good result for the race. Yeah, I'd say drinking the milk uh, would be would be the ultimate goal. Um, but honestly, uh, top five, top ten would be amazing. Of course, the goal is to get a ring and drink the milk. The three students said it's been a great experience and are thankful for Purdue and Hunkos Hollinger Racing for giving them this opportunity.